Hi folks, welcome to the channel. It's your favourite South Indian guy, Paranormal, me Adam. And this vlog is slightly different because I'm having a wander around Hadley Castle at the bottom of it at the moment. I'm going to find a clear path that isn't going to fall me, <laughs> isn't going to involve me falling flat on my backside. And the reason why I'm out here at the moment, I'm going to do another quick video because I'm going to do a new intro. That The one I've got on there is a bit sort of old hat and I've got better stuff now and you know more people are paying attention we're still um yeah we're still sitting on about 5 16 5 17 subscribers so hopefully that will bump up a little bit in the coming months and uh yeah the reason why I'm out doing this in this mode partly because I keep forgetting this phone has got uh, what's called dual camera which means you can talk to my lovely face and I can also show you scenery at the same time. I don't use this app nearly enough and all right, well, this is a bit of a pain at night because of lack of lighting during the day. It's really fantastic because as you see, you know, um, now obviously you've seen this site at night because I've been over here several times filming, doing the old paranormal stuff. fenced off so you can't really get down there I don't think I want to anyway <laughs> it does look a bit perilous so yeah uh, well anyway so why am I out here you may ask well uh, we're going to filming this week and I didn't really do any paranormal content basically because uh, a site that I was supposed to go to didn't really uh, take off um, I think Trace is still feeling a bit un under the weather at the moment uh, but mainly because Saturday day time I was actually filming in South End for their Freedom Rally and uh, yeah it was uh, an interesting event I think it's going to kick start like more local stuff um, around the country that, you know that sort of thing that we've done we're probably going to see it elsewhere now you know more local stuff sort of keep getting away from London and all the rest of it you know because those are a bit uh, how can you put it I th you can do things better locally rather than hitting the city all the time because at the weekend there's hardly any people milling around in London you know and you want to be talking to people that you know just just get what concerns they've got and all the rest of it about everything that's going on so yeah that's what I actually done now I couldn't really do the filming at home because I've got about two hours of video in the crunch and being as my computer I've just got to show you this view it's amazing I would have thought this neck of um, Essex could give up such great views this is what's left of Adley Castle where I fix her up at this place so yeah, anyway, um, as I say at the moment, my computer's got about two hours of video crunching to do, and it wasn't built for video editing in the first place, really. It was, I just bought it, funnily enough, so it worked with my blooming GoPro. I never emphasised that I'd be buying, you know, things like this, which shoot full HD, do Dolby 5.1 and all the rest of it, and even that's old, you know. Uh, <laughs> wasn't really my thought process at the time but here we are so yeah that's what's going on at the moment it's just really taking it's really going to take some time to do that so uh, yeah I thought I'd come out and have a wander around get blown about a bit because it is very very open here and I'm going to show you a little bit more now uh, now you can check my videos out on this if you haven't done so already, I think I've done three, four parts to Hadley Castle. We think we've got the white lady that's reported here. I've had over at the, what's your finger there? Over in that towel there, I've had the meter go off quite a few times. We've had all sorts. So, uh, yes, it's a great place to come to check out. So, it's open all 
year round, 24-7, is, uh, yeah, it's a great part of Essex. I'm going to try and sit somewhere. Because <laughs> as I said, it's open, so you're probably getting all the wind noise at the minute. I'm going to take a seat down here. Yeah, so oh, it's a bit better. So yeah, that's basically what we've been doing this weekend. It's been a case of other things going. I've been doing a video editing for I've just I've literally just started it. Uh, the video editing for the Freedom Rally that went on in South End yesterday. There's going to be footage elsewhere from other channels, there's a little bit of drone footage as well and uh, there's another guy that does the filming as well, he was doing, he's also got my content so he can cut and, you know, he, he, he can cut bits out there he likes and uh, sort of put it into with his footage as well, we're, you know, we're, we'll sing from the same hymn sheet here so it's, you know, that's uh, that's the main thing. So yeah, there we are. Now, footage wise this week, uh, well, paranormal content wise, as you've just seen, we had St. Peter's Church in Alsford, all the remains of it. And uh, yet again, that didn't disappoint. Well, this coming up this Wednesday is one of my favorite episodes I've done so far. And that is the fourth bit to St. Peter's on the Wall in Bradburn on so We actually got to go inside the chapel. And if you watched it live on Facebook, you knew I really wasn't expecting that. So to have that was really something. And we got a lot of activity in there, not just with the stuff that I did, but when I went over the Tracy Cam footage. Uh, there was some great EVPs that came through on that. It was just something else. So, yeah, that is what's coming up this Wednesday. You've got the final installment to St. Peter's on the Wall Chapel in Brabalon Sea. And then you've got the Tracy Cam footage as well. That will be on the Sunday. And as I said, there's some great content. There's been, uh, I, I, will, I will reiterate, it's been one of my favourite ones. It was just a great activity in that place. It would be nice to go back. However, I've been there four times, so I think, you know, there's personally, there's only so many times you can really hit a site. But if there are other um, paranormal teams that want to go and look for it themselves, I'm quite happy to go up with them. Um, because, yeah, it, it was a bit of an unexpected gem, I suppose. As you've already seen, we've, we've had everything. We've had Spirits Cross and some not so nice stuff come through on the apps which i hope that uh we we, we fend it off you know it's just a just a great thing now that the content that's going going to be coming up soon or rather the stuff i'm going to record now at the moment the existing content i've got will take us through to october um i've, I've still got stuff that i finished that's on my computer but i've yet to upload to youtube so there's got to be about another six weeks worth there. And the way it's looking, it's probably going to take me through to, to winter. So, yeah, that's stuff that's got to go up, um, including Redoubt Fault, where we weren't disappointed again for activity, both when I went on my own and then when I went back with uh, Tracy and Ricky. You'll see a nice little snippet on um, TikTok for Moonwalk Paranormal, which is basically Tracy and Tina. Uh, <laughs> you'll see the accident I had with uh, with a pool of water. Um, <laughs> that's all I'm saying. Uh, I, I do find myself in these situations. So, yeah, check out Moonwalk Paranormal uh, and the Instagram as well. They're on Instagram. So you've got Instagram and TikTok. Moonwalk Paranormal, check Tracy's stuff out. It's wonderful. Gives you little, also not only is it from Tracy's perspective, but it also gives you little insights into a little bit of what goes behind the scene and a little bit of a heads up on material that's going to come up on my channel 
so it's, it's it's all good yeah well worth checking out and uh yeah moving on from that uh, slot link to read out fault now as you know we've been to east silby battery been there a few times that i disappointed obviously shuby garrison as well we picked stuff up there and following on from that i have had a look at the other um forts that were built during that time period of the mid late 19th century so that's like the palmerston twiddle sites and there's quite a few around kent alone there's more stuff down the south coast but of course that bridge has and we're not going to afford the fuel for it and uh there's there's a lot of stuff there as well but um that's what i'm looking into at the moment is the the old forts that are around kent so chat and mainly rochester and down as far as dover as well i mean if you want to go further uh west then there's, there's other stuff but i'm sort of concentrating on the like, the immediate vicinity as much as i can now, a couple of the sites you can only reach by boat so <laughs> I, I can actually procure a boat. It's just the logistics at the moment are sorting that out. So, yeah, it's going to be some great content coming up in the future. And I am really looking forward to doing those places because uh, so far, as I said, with East Tilbury Battery, read that full. We've had some great stuff come through there. Anyway, I'm going to leave that there. So don't forget, Wednesday is St. Peter's on the Wall. That's the fourth part. That was the live one we did on Facebook. And then you've got the trace cam content on Sunday. I'm going to leave it there. Thank you very much for watching, everybody. If you are new to the channel, I'm just going to say very warm well welcome to you. If, you need, if you'd like to help my channel anyway, I have Patreon and PayPal. They are on my main page. When you go to my main screen, you'll see the links there. And, uh, yeah, anything helps because, obviously, I've got to pay for fuel out of my own pocket and, you know, new equipment and all that sort of thing. Once again, thanks very much for watching. See you on Wednesday. Take care. Bye-bye.